dear friends, I welcome you to my kitchen. We are cooking today, cooking with Lillian. And I'm no longer keeping you guessing what I'm going to be cooking for today's project, for our Sunday's project. I'm going to be cooking, oops, in a minute. Right now, you see what I have here? I have my The Don Peppers t-shirt. I love it so much. And of course, you can purchase all these Don Peppers stuff at uh, Russian with Puma Macy's store, which is featured in the video description. So now I am done with the introduction of my merchandise, not my merchandise, the Don Peppers merchandise. I can put on my trademark apron and I will tell you what we're going to be cooking. Okay. Of course, it's a season. It's a season and I went to the farm, which I live just less than a mile away. And they had such a colorful pumpkins that I normally don't buy pumpkins, but this pumpkin was so beautiful. And it just jumped at me saying, take me home, take me home, take me home. And I took it home and I have this little one, little baby also. So it's a season. And then I said, I asked whether they were selling these guys. And this is the butternut squash. And butternut squash, I've developed such a great relationship with this because I fell in love with the butter squash soup. And when you go to any restaurant, they serve you a little cup this big at the price of $15 a ladle. And it's like $15 a ladle or this little cup. And uh, what is this? Is that special secret that you have to know? That's why you then sell it that ex at that expensive price. And I said, you know what? I'm going to figure that out that recipe i'm going to figure out how they make it and then i'll have my own soup lillian's butter not a butternut squash soup and i will know that how to do this one this guy is still warm because i just bought it and it was sitting on the field gathering soaking that sun in so it's as organic as it can be of course the hardest part with the butter squash butternut squash is to peel it and to clean it and for that if you are kind of very concerned about and saving your strength then of course you cut it in half and you send it to the oven for maybe 20 minutes or so and then it will soften a little bit and then you use it in your soup but i am a strong person and i will be cutting it of course not on the camera i'll clean it and um, so that soup the butternut squash soup i love my soup what am i going to be using for this soup in terms of labor efficiency or labor preservation this soup is the easiest one to cook as long as you are done with cutting your butter squash then all the vegetables go into the pot they go into the pot and um, you boil them all together and you don't even slice them or you don't do that because then at the end of the process you'll puree it and the soup is going to be a puree soup and that's the best part so let's see what i'm going to be using since it's going to be yellow soup yellow bell pepper i'll have onion i'll have fresh tomato i have celery sticks i'll have carrots i'll have i was told that this is anaheim pepper I kind of going to place my trust into it because I prefer my soup on a little bit tiny mild spicy side. Then I'm going to have my parsley, Italian parsley and carrot tops greens. I'm going to have carrot tops as well. Just a little bit of everything. 
what sets aside my soup because uh, it's served at the restaurant with sour cream, with a touch of sour cream. Normally chefs draw a beautiful heart out of that ice cream, sour cream or something. I am not going to draw anything and I am not using sour cream because my soup is totally vegetarian and even vegan. But I love to add some organic almond milk and just a little bit at the end when it start boiling when i add my avocado oil then i also add some almond milk and that makes my soup taste a little bit differently uh, aside from the other soups so without any further ado i'm going to clean the butternut squash and then i'll come back to you showing how I chop everything and send it to the pot and then we'll talk about season it's a wonderful season you know what I kept telling you I keep telling you saying it's summer is my favorite season and I love spring when everything is waking up and the nature is waking up it turns out that I probably with the signs of the fall and autumn and everything and we have these different things that are available only in that season. And you realize that the, during the his course of the year, you grow to miss those things. And you welcome those things happily into your life. After we're going to say goodbye to these things, uh, pumpkins and uh, before we know, the Christmas stuff will come around and it's going to be even more pretty, pretty, pretty because the Christmas time is my favorite time of the year in terms of the holiday. And you know what? I honestly believe that that was designed, I mean, that is special by design for us to um, survive the year much better because when we have shorter days longer nights it's dark and dark and dark outside but when you have all the coziness of those holidays it makes you feel nice and warm and loving and all that spirit that comes to our houses good spirits loving spirits they are around these holidays okay I am talking too much. Let's let's start working. Well, here we are. We are on the stove, on the stove side of my kitchen. I peeled the pumpkin, I mean the butternut squash. I peeled and cut it and I put almost the entire butternut squash into the pot. Um, just a quarter of it left, maybe I'll bake. Um, it was uh, something else with some other vegetables. I don't know yet. So let's uh, let's start our process. And this is I'm pouring water. That would be enough. And we start cooking. I'm turning on medium high it's medium high and i will be chopping all the vegetables and adding them as we go all at the same time and the more vegetables we have the thicker our soup is going to be let's go and start chopping here we are at the cutting board and um let me start with the onion you know what i forgot to tell you i am also going to have garlic i'm going to have garlic because as you know me by now i don't do anything without garlic and i'll have four cloves of garlic for this soup as well so i told you there is no point in cutting everything in small pieces because the soup is going to be pureed so i'm sending this onion right there and um and carrots of course carrots going to go over there as well This is the best soup ever. You don't really have to be creative about cutting your vegetables. 
Here is our carrot. That's so nice. And then our tomato. Those are the things that I send first to the pot. I also have these little cherry tomatoes that's been already with me for a while. They're almost like prunes, the sun-dried tomatoes. And since most likely I'm not going to use them, it's perfect to use in our soup. I'm going to add these vegetables first and then let's see. And we don't care that all the vegetables go into the pot at the same time because my carrot is escaping. The carrot doesn't want to go into the pot saying that no, 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 please save me, save me, save me. But unfortunately, carrot, this is your destiny you're going to be in the pot as well see it's already looks so nice because it has all these beautiful vegetables perfect perfect let's go and chop the rest of the vegetables so it's a least elaborate soup you really don't need to think twice or do something about your vegetables you simply chop them in large chunks it doesn't take much time at all and your soup is on its way to be cooked some people asked me about squash pumpkin or anything and i replied that you know i grew up in the um, colder side of colder part of Russia in Siberia and we didn't have pumpkins nor um, any other cultures to grow and that's why when you don't master this stuff in your childhood when it's not the everyday meal it's really hard to relate to the pumpkin pies or pumpkin uh, porridges or other pumpkin dishes it's just because they not customary in the area where i grew up and um, yes i learned to like these vegetables i grew to love those these vegetables and now it's my favorite thing so it has nothing to do with russian cuisine with lillian it has everything to do with me lillian liking butter squash butternut squash and sharing my recipe with you let's take this uh to the pot as well and see and see how our pot is becoming pretty and pretty, pretty and pretty. You know what also happens to me with this soup? That I start adding some vegetables, more and more vegetables, and then I'm running out of room, and then I dish out some water and some vegetables, and I cook them in a separate pot and then i combine those two pots together i hope it's not going to happen today to me i'm going to be very cautious with this pepper i don't know maybe i won't be cautious because kind of it doesn't sound too bad. I, I just licked it and um, didn't feel anything much. I'll let you know whether I ruined my soup or not. Colorful season, colorful season. Okay, and pretty much this is the last batch of the vegetables that go into soup and the soup is assembled. Then when it starts coming to boil, I will be seasoning it. 
our green stuff goes into here and garlic and and when the squash is going to get softer everything will be making better sense than right now right now you probably think oh my god she did manage to top this pot with everything and now how is it going to fit you won't be able to store it or anything i hope that by very soon the vegetables will be softer and you'll be able to operate the soup as usual so i'm leaving this soup on the stove for now and i'll come back to you as soon as it softens and it's time to season our soup let's see the magic how what is going on here let's see the magic oh my god it's starting to look like soup okay let's see if we're able to store it not quite yet waiting a little bit more but guys if you could feel this if you could smell it if you could only smell all these vegetables they are smelling so nice garlic onion all the greens mmm amazing simply amazing and the colors it's this is the most colorful soup really well okay not the most but one i mean all the vegetables that they are with different colors they i can stop admiring our nature how much it provides for us and that's where we take our inspiration and colors and love for life and for everything so oh gosh just looking at these colors make me emotional <laughs> in a good sense <laughs> beautiful 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 okay it's boiling it's boiling i'm going to bring the, it down the heat beautiful soup it's boiling that's wonderful now i'm going to add avocado oil and i will season this soup let's see i'm going to add my himalayan salt then i'm adding my usual suspects my paprika and my sage okay it's really boiling okay turning down a little bit and my sage i am not going to add chili hot pepper because i believe that i have that pepper and the, however ground pepper i'll add a little bit of ground pepper and um no bay leaf today now i'm going to add our oil you know what i discovered right now that when you clean the butternut squash and you use your hands and then it has some type of uh, chemical in it that 
it just dries up immediately your skin and my hands were curled and I decided to spread stretch my fingers and I almost broke my skin so I had to wash my hands really hard just scrub with the sponge and now I use the avocado oil on my palms it would relieve that drying drying condition I'm going to google and see what's going on what type of qualities of the butternut squash make the skin react that way that's so interesting never before happened to me wow i can't believe it look at this it's just uh, i almost i think i broke my skin over here when i was trying to open up my fingers okay and uh, yeah the broth is already becoming like real soup now i think 20 more minutes or so and then I let the soup stay on the stove to cool down a little bit because I used to um, for the pureeing purposes I used a normal blender and that was a mess to blend the soup in a blender pouring it to the blender and out of the blender you use the additional pot and everything and then I bought my immersion blender and that changed the picture. Now I learn, I, I love even more to make this soup. Okay, so it's doing well. The oil, there is enough oil. Everything is enough. I'm going to add almond milk right now. Just a little bit of almond milk. Oops. I'll cover it. I'll put it on low low and in 20 minutes I'll turn off the stove and then I let it sit for a little while and then I'll use my immersion blender to blend this soup. It's looking better and better, better and better. Wow, it does look like real soup right now. Let me see how soft is our butter squash. Soft and how soft it is my okay, my carrots still need to be cooked. Okay, so yeah. I think the butter squash is ready. My carrots needs to be need to be a little bit boiled more. But mmm the soup is so good, very, very good. Let me feel the carrot. No, actually carrot also is okay. Is it? Yeah, all vegetables are okay. I'm going to let it sip for another few minutes and then I will use my immersion blender to blend the soup. The soup is ready. It's so ready. It's even ready to be blended. Let's start blending it. I highly recommend the immersion blender. It works so nice. I'm telling you, I used to do it in the blender, uh, just regular blender, and it was horrible i mean it was kind of very cumbersome very awkward process and now ever since i have this tool my life is so much easier and i'm making this soup more often because this soup is now much easier to handle so let's start working all the vegetables are dying in the blaze of this machine blending and blending
These tomatoes don't want to die, they die hard. My lost tomatoes. That's a beautiful process. Look at the at the consistency of this soup. So one huge whirlpool. So all the vegetables go in and there. And no not a thing left not shredded. What a beautiful tool. I think we are done nice and easy very very easy now i'm going to prepare myself bowl of this soup look at this it's beautiful i love how it turned out it's not thick not thin the consistency is just so beautiful and it's so pretty it's so healthy and it's so nice and I've got a large pot of this soup that is being sold at 15 bucks a little at the California restaurants this is my soup finally we are done with this soup another beautiful project this is gorgeous soup it's nice warm and hearty and this is just in time for the season it's butternut squash soup that we cooked together with you at my kitchen in my kitchen in the kitchen with Lillian Don Peppers for some reason didn't grace us today with his presence but this soup look at this I love it it looks so nice it's so colorful and it's delicious that's the butternut squash soup, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you would be able to repeat this soup at home or better even because you probably know different recipes how to cook this fruit. Technically, they say it's a fruit. So before I say goodbye, I'll tell you what I learned from Google about the butternut squash hands. Apparently, the younger the fruit, technically it's a fruit, the younger the butternut squash is, the harder it fights its death. It really doesn't want to die, kidding. It's just really when you cut it and when you work with it, it has this type of substance, sap-like substance, that covers your palms almost with the little um, thin la layer of film. And that's why it's really dries. And when you try to open your palms, then it really hurts. And no matter how hard you scrub, no matter how much most moisturizer you're going to, um, moisturizing creams or moisturizer you're going to apply to your palms it's going to take a while what works in my case I love using my avocado oil on my palms on my hands on my face literally I base in avocado oil I love everything avocado and avocado oil I use really on my face and on my hands and on my elbows and everywhere anyway the soup is ready we have a project for sunday i hope to see you all at the live premiere of the presentation of the butternut squash soup i hope that you have your own recipes and thank you so much for being at the channel here we cooked together today another successful project and thank you for coming to the channel